So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And what I have here today is the 2024 BYD Sea Lion 6. And I would like to thank so much to BYD Philippines for the embargo shoot of this vehicle. So a lot of first already happening with BYD as I had my first ever media dive with the Dolphin back in Subig and my first ever embargo shoot. So by the time this uh, video comes out, it's already been released here in the Philippines. I don't even have the official price yet here, which I'll mention later on, so it's only an approximate price. And as well, special thanks to Evil City by Ayala Land here in Kawit Cavite. It's very beautiful and reminds me of uh, somewhere in the north where you can do a lot of crazy driving. What do we get now with this uh, Sea Lion 6? This is actually a subcompact crossover in the C segment, so this actually competes with the Ford Territory, Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid, Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, and the Honda CRV Hybrid. You noticed a lot of hybrids in this segment. This BYD C Lion is still a battery electric vehicle. However, there is a little twist which I'll show you just in a bit. This is actually in its facelift already. So this has the Ocean X face design. And the looks overall, I really, really like this. It's of course, uh, a bit similar like with the SEAL sedan. You get a ground clearance of 173 millimeters. You get very distinct LED lights. There's even ones here that acts as your DRLs and your repeaters as demoed here. Now here on the side profile of this Sea Lion 6, it's a lot longer than usual, but it's somewhat still comparable than the competition I've mentioned. These are running on 19-inch wheels. More on the diving dynamics a bit later on because this thing rides really, really well. And of course, you get repeaters here with cameras underneath. And now here at the rear of the Sea Lion 6, one of the best looking mirrors of any crossovers in this segment. You get your DMI emblems here on the left side, along too with your Sea Lion 6. And you get a full functioning LED light board. And I love this uh, sequential repeaters. Reminds me of that of Mazda vehicles. And open this one up. So, if not mistaken, this is as well one of the best in class. We have a total here of 522 liters of space. I mean, as demo, thank you to BYD. You can literally store like almost four boxes here. Underneath, there's even a tire compressor kit if needed. You get LED lights and a cubby space on the left side. Tonneau cover as well. And once you fold all of the seats down, it increases to around almost 1,100 liters. And of course, for every BYD, you get a free charging cable once you purchase this vehicle. So, you, everyone's curious now. Usually, I go to the interior now. But let's talk about what is powering this Sea Lion 6. Now, this is the powertrain of this BYD Sea Lion 6. So, this is a DMI platform, meaning dual mode intelligence. So, first, we have a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated 4-cylinder engine with 97 horsepower and 135 newton meters of torque. And the other is an 80.6 kilowatt hour battery that produces a total of 197 horsepower and 325 newton meters of torque. And unlike some other uh, hybrid or even electric vehicles out there, this range extender can as well power the front wheels. So now you have a combined power of 217 horsepower and 325 newton meters of torque mated to a direct hybrid transmission. So I think it's just like a one speed uh, like with the rest of the competition. This is one of BYD's first uh, hybrid vehicles uh, since the BYD Tang, the first one that came here and as well with the BYD song. So this is the interior now of the uh, Sea Lion 6. Very refreshing to dive a BYD once again because they make one of the best interiors for any Chinese brand out there, in my opinion. Here in the door card, very nice plush materials with orange stitching and with infinity speakers all around. Wireless charging pads here on either side. Here in the steering wheel, very chunky, very nice to the touch. And as you can see, the steering feel is light itself. Here are all of your controls for your adaptive cruise control and some phone connectivity buttons and instrument cluster adjustments. Here on the right side, the instrument cluster looks pretty much similar like that of the Han with a lot of displays and hilariously, uh, there is even a stopwatch in case you want to do an acceleration or do a lap time uh, with this Sea Lion 6. And what I like to, uh, I know I'm not much of a tech guy, but you can even control the air conditioning system here if needed. And this is your fuel economy reading. Pretty impressive. Mixed driving, slow speed and high speed. And it's performing way better than I expected. And you see the range there. So starting off with 70% and 1,100 kilometers of range. And that's BYD Philippines estimated range at 100%. But this is only 70. 
Wow, so imagine the two range of this now. So anyways, signature 2 with all BYDs, you get your rotating 15-inch screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Pretty handy uh, for me for once and all of the rest is pretty much this, the same like for your navigation and most of the controls are as well uh, operated here in the infotainment system like for your air conditioning controls and all that and yeah pretty much the same what i've experienced with the byd tang and han and here for your charging time settings yeah there's a lot you can do with this uh byd c lion 6 and then further down the infotainment system you get two air conditioning vents again the pads glove box all right pretty good and then if you can see just underneath the center console you get one USB-C port, USB port, double socket, and a cubby space. Center console is all gloss black. At least they're all functioning buttons. And you have a very weird gear shift, as you can see. It's kind of like a toggle switch, uh, very similar like that of one European car. And there's your EV mode, HEV mode, and all that. Two cup holders here with plastic grips. And then on top of the center console box, you have an NFC card. So I found the NFC card as well. Open this center console box up. There's your NFC card. So how many stuff you can fit in this? Uh, yes, because, yeah, it's pretty large. And the seats here too, surprisingly, more on the sporty-oriented side of things, but very similar now like that of the uh, Ato 3. I mean, look at the Boston. Yeah, pretty good. All right, let's check out the your seats. So these are the rear seats of the Sea Lion 6. Here in the door card, pretty much the same like the ones in front the per usual infinity sound system and that's my normal diving position by the way but look at the space it's it's amazing and look at this the sunroof stretches all the way here to the rear uh, passengers and despite that i mean i know i'm 5'4 only but i still have a, enough headroom wow this is such a nice crossover for once having all of the amenities and space and like with all evs out there and hybrid vehicles too you get a very flat transmission tunnel and here in the middle you get two air conditioning vents a cubby space one usb port and a usb c port map pockets here and the seats of course pretty much the same like the ones in front center armrest with two cup holders and flimsy grips so we just brought back the car well my specific unit is right in front here so during the boot shots this is actually for your wall charger which can charge up to seven kilowatts so if this sea lion 6 uh, gets its battery depleted you can charge as much as three hours that's pretty quick and then for your slow charger it's only up to 1.7 kilowatts we, you can charge around 12 to 16 hours depending as well on the uh, state of your electricity but i would say 12 to 16 hours that's not bad that's just literally one whole deep sleep and then you're good and another thing here of course this one opens the boots but this can act as well to close it but you have to long press it then if you remove your finger midway it will stop so you have to keep holding it to close it so now diving exclusive access here with this uh, sea lion 6 having a range extender most of the time that i've driven here for more than an hour already it's completely ev mode and I just literally left it in eco mode for obvious reasons. And why not? Then you can hear the engine kicking in. Look at that. It sounds pretty uh, alright too. The brakes are pretty strong but you have to take note. It's a very, very high by having what? Of course, to accommodate the regenerative braking and the, well, the hybrid system as well since you have a... Uh, engine working here in up front too but overall the diving dynamics and just diving it here calmly it's pretty good and as well in this class of crossovers non-hybrid or hybrid itself it's one of the best nvh out there i mean look how isolated you feel in the cabin not much tire noise too that's why i mentioned with two with the 19 inch wheels because yeah despite the massive wheel size not much tire noise translating in here to the cabin and the ride of this is top notch too and the weight of this is 1800 plus kilograms i was expecting to be a bit lazy and all that but byd did a very very good job with the diving dynamics of this and look how tight the turning circle is just like 
almost only three lanes and here uh, each EV mode there's a lot of modes you can do I don't know why you need snowfield but it's there for a reason now here sport mode each EV mode that's EV mode then around 60 kilometers per hour yep the engine will kick in as you can hear right this is much more fun than I expected with this uh, Sea Lion 6 as well if you want to know the acceleration time wow 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is done in 8.3 seconds that's actually pretty peppy already for uh, what this is and the handling of this yes despite the weight and having slightly stiff suspension but again it's still a very comfortable ride it's yeah it's such a good handling crossover for what this is among one of the better hybrid vehicles that i've tried out so far and as well despite me doing all of this kind of driving you can check the fuel economy reading it's been doing such a good job wow wow right so that's my first impressions dive with this byd c lion 6 such a an amazing crossover now we do not have the exact price yet by the time of the shoot i'll just put it in the pin comment down below however they did say to us that the estimated price of this is at 1.6 million pesos so it's right smack on the bottom of the competition that i've mentioned it's one of the more affordable uh, i will say electric vehicles out there you should definitely check this one out it's i think if not mistaken and call me crazy one of the best ones in this class that i've driven look and you can just turn it up like that and make it to a race car if you want to Woo. wow that's so peppy i would love to bring this to i mean if byd philippines allows me to have a land out of this to bring it to tanay or maybe just a normal road but not that extreme this would be a very very fun car to drive and the steering feel there's two modes by the way there's like standard and sport mode the sport mode which i left to because you all know me i'm a powy sting kind of guy it weights up quite a lot but the handling and the feel of it is still lighter than usual but i don't mind it if this is going to be your first crossover in a hybrid one too you should definitely check this one out unique in this segment that the range extender the engine and the electric motors itself can propel the front wheels which not a lot of cars in this class can do so yeah that's a quick dive of this byd c lion 6 again i would like to thank everyone here at byd cars philippines and to evo city uh here in kawit Cavite for allowing us to shoot the embargo of this c lion 6 one more time oh my gosh this is so peppy i mean the roads here is nice and all that but you can really literally fly already with this thing amazing right so Again, special thanks to my friend here, John Jeremiah C, for who assisted me here too in this uh, car review. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with more future BYD reviews. Bye-bye.